All right, so it's Damien from Marketing Food Online, and in this podcast, we are going to jump into some great questions. Can I run a catering business from home? And if I do, can I use my home kitchen for catering? But the biggest aspect to doing this is whether it is actually legal. So is it legal to do catering businesses from home or not? Um, so the question I got from uh, Susan J. Susan J., thank you so much for asking these questions about catering. Um, the thing with catering from home is this. Any type of food operation handled from home normally traditionally falls under cottage food laws. There is a limitation on the types of food that you can make and sell and where you can sell those foods from. Catering business would we basically just one and the same as well. The types of foods that you normally serve from catering is considered potentially hazardous uh, products, meaning that it's time or temperature sensitive. So those normally are not allowed under cottage food laws. So the idea or the you know, the question, can I use my home kitchen for catering, sounds like a easy win, something that you can start from home, but it's the preparation of the types of foods that you're going to make that makes it prohibited as far as cottage food laws. Now, don't let that discourage you though. If you're looking to create a small catering business, you can actually rent out a local commercial kitchen or check out down below. I'll put the video where I've got 14 alternatives to renting a commercial kitchen. That actually explains to you different ways that you can utilize uh, kitchens, commercial kitchens within your community to actually begin a catering business from scratch. And it's a, it's a really good way to do it, to be honest with you, because it's a very small investment type of business. There's only going to be, if you're going to start out small, again, you want to take on events when you begin to catering that are relatively small. I actually ran a small catering business out of our Italian bakery um, here locally when we had our Italian bakery, but we obviously worked out of a brick and mortar retail storefront that was different so we had a kitchen built into the the facility that allowed us to create these dishes and bring them um, into uh, the local community but starting from home most states will not allow you now there's one really unique thing though in utah and california they have a variety now of of laws that are uh, allowing people to actually prepare meals actual like lunches and things that you would get at a restaurant or a cafe or a food truck at home and then serve them or sell them locally. California, I believe it's the license B. There's two types of licenses in California and license B is the one that allows you to do this. Uh, Utah actually has a portion. There's a couple communities that are now making people or allowing people to make these products from home and even using delivery services like DoorDash, believe it or not, to do this. So if you want to check within your state, find out for sure, because most cottage food laws don't allow this. But after what, what we all went through in 2020, a lot of states are seeing that there's a lot of people out of work, a lot of people who want to start businesses from home that are related to food, but it's very constricting with the types of cottage food laws that they have. So offering a catering business from home is something that many states are beginning to actually uh, second guess and think about uh, and, and allow people to do this. I think that it's a genius idea if you were to start from home, only if you simply just regulate it by having some type of course or class that you can take. So you just understand the food preparation, the food handling, keeping food warm, uh, sanitation, and, and all of those types of things. But home kitchens for catering, unfortunately, is not something that's allowed. But tapping into local um, community centers or even local com commercial kitchens and starting on a slow scale, I recommend that. Now, Damien, is it really profitable to have a catering business and start that small? Yes, it actually can be. Why? Because there is a lot of events now, uh, whether they're co companies or corporations or community events that are now going to be outside, of course, because of what we went through in 2020. Um, so you want to make sure that you, you tap into that. They're going to need food. They're going to have food vendors. So catering an event and offering outdoor events, there's a lot of actually weddings. My wife and I have been uh, to a couple of weddings that are actually outside, those are the types of events that are going to be continuing to take off because they're outside and they're going to need catering. They're going to need local local caterers. So yes, it's definitely something that you can do, do even on a low budget um, by only having a certain amount of equipment and a small amount of equipment, heating, serving trays, warming trays, um, transportation, and you don't need a lot of employees either to, do, to handle small events. Um, so definitely starting a catering business from home, from the legal standpoint, you might be able to run your home office Yes, from your home, take a segment of your house, have an office there set up for your computer where you order, where you handle all the back end of the business, but the actual food preparation and then bringing it from the uh, place where you're making the food to your event is not something you can necessarily do from home. So the answer, unfortunately, is no, you can't start it from home, but you can run the business side of it from home and you can rent a commercial kitchen completely legal. Now, in order to do this from the uh, business licensing and permits, Damien, what would I need to do? So you want to check with your local health department 
Find out specifically what that city or county, whatever the two may be, whichever one is where you're at. Uh, some people are within city limits and some people are outside of the county, that type of a thing. But you want to check with the health department and find out specifically what permit or license you would need to operate this type of catering because you're not going to be in an actual commercial kitchen where you own it. You're going to be renting one. So do you need a certain business license? The best way to incorporate also would be an LLC. LLCs are very simplistic. By the way, down below this video in the description, I'll give you a link to Inc. File. You can check them out. You can literally create an LLC for your catering business it's been a matter of 10, 15 minutes online, um, no matter what state that you're in. So create your entity, LLC, corporation, whatever you choose to do. Make sure you have food business insurance to protect your food business as well. Uh, normally, those policies average about five, six hundred dollars a year, so they're not very expensive. Um, so you want to let them know, obviously, that you're handling catering. Then you want to find out for sure from the health department where the inspections would be. Is that something that, hey, if you're renting a commercial kitchen, obviously you've got a catering business that you're operating from there. They're already licensed, they're already inspected, they're already insured. So that's something that you won't necessarily have to really worry about. I don't think from the health department's perspective, for them coming in while you're there, they just normally would go to the commercial kitchen and then inspect it. So. Yes, definitely you could in a way start a catering business from home, but you just can't do the food prep from home itself. So if you have any questions about catering or any of those types of businesses, let us know down below. Uh, check out our podcast links as well, and then stay tuned for the rest of our new, brand new videos. We'll be uploading the rest of this week, and I'll see you guys in the next video.